Hello and welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson and we have got a great show ahead for you so sit back, relax and enjoy. Bluffton's newest little home decor boutique, the Southern Butterfly, is a home decor boutique specializing in everything that makes your home look wonderful and inviting while adding a little bit of Southern charm into every project. Here to tell us more about this unique little store is owner TJ Champito. TJ, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Sam. Absolutely. So, talk a little bit about the actual store and what you're doing with it. Uh, you know, I should say you and Tisha. Yeah, my <laughs> wife Tisha and I are running the store. It's really her vision. Uh, she couldn't be here with us today, but we've just been having a lot of fun with it. Um, we opened on uh, Thursday the first. Uh, I think we've been welcomed really well by the community. Uh, what we offer is a, a really nice mix of old and new. Uh, you may find. Um, some really new furniture in there. My wife also refinishes a lot of the pieces. Um, and we're working with some really great vendors on bringing in some nice artwork and uh, some nice pieces from around the South. Cool. So you mentioned Tisha refinishes a lot of furniture for the store. Yep. So, so you actually offer a restoration for pieces that maybe someone has in their home and has had for a while and do they have to bring it to you or are you able to go into the houses and, and kind of... You know we can do either or okay. and that really is more Tisha's department. Her, her artistic skill comes out. Uh, we really wanted to get to the furniture and some other bigger items and I think the uh, opening the retail store was the next big step. But right. um, as far as uh, refinishing pieces that people have existing uh, that is something that we do we haven't advertised it a lot but I think it's just natural that we would offer that service um, you know so if there's that piece in your house that uh, maybe you've redecorated redec that space right. and, and, and maybe it stands out a little bit and it, it used to be a wonderful piece and it just needs a little bit of uh, creative refinishing or, or some customization you can certainly bring that in uh, and that's something that we can do for you as well. Well and I think the other side of that is a lot of times um, people need you to see maybe what other changes they've made in the room and then how can that piece fit in that room, absolutely, you know, you, 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 you know, teach you making suggestions and maybe creating something very cool for them, you know? Well, we get a lot of people who come into the shop and, and they see some of the pieces that she's refinished herself um, or some pieces that we've picked up that someone else has refinished right. from another vendor and, uh, you know, they just get inspired and maybe that inspires them to say, you know what, I've got that end table or I've got that dining table. Um, and I'd love to see what she could do with it. Right. So, so we've got a great workshop in the back of the uh, store and, and she's in there rigorously working on, on pieces all the time. So. And I think she's rebranding the website, correct? She is and, and yeah. as I mentioned that's kind of how we got started with some online sales for, mm. for a good year and it, it performed really well. Um, but we are rebranding the site a little bit now, probably going to take us another week or two to get it really up and running and, and ready to where you could go on there and actually make some purchases. Okay, but, uh, great. but the site's there and you can certainly uh, catch and up or, with us. Or Facebook. Or Facebook. Yeah, we're, it's on the Facebook We're page. really active in, yeah, in social media. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and having a lot of fun with that. Uh, so yeah, you can certainly catch up with us on Facebook anytime as well. So uh, the community has responded well to the opening of the store. It, it Did you have a grand opening? I should ask. It is. We had a, a grand opening uh, event last last Thursday when we mm -hmm. opened. Uh, we will be doing a ribbon cutting again on December sixth with the town. Great. Um, but overall, it's been wonderful. It's our first, you know, it's our first go at a retail shop, so we're sort of new to it. Um, but the the support we've gotten from from the local merchants as well as just the town itself and our family and friends has just been it's been overwhelming and I, I think it makes something like this a lot easier to do yeah a lot more fun support. too Absolutely. well I mean you're doing something really fun you know no, so it is. I'm having a blast yeah good good <laughs> so the Southern Butterfly it's an intriguing name so how did we come up how did you come up with that name it, actually my wife Tisha came up with it she is born and raised uh, in the deep south and mm -hmm. she's very proud of that and um, she came up with that name and I think it really embodies um, you know the, the the fun that she's having, the style that you'll find in the store. Um, yeah. You know our styles range from uh, French French farmhouse to shabby chic to you know low, the low country style. So and that's really what she's trying to bring a little bit of a right. little bit of southern flair uh, to the interior design and, and the design of your home. So besides like doing um, a restoration to a piece, can she actually create a piece? Um, something you know somebody maybe comes in with some ideas and I don't know some fabric ideas some whatever sure you know we don't uh, actually build our own pieces mm -hmm. by hand we're not woodworkers okay. by trade right um, but we are you know as we open we get to know a lot of different people in the right. community and we have 
Um, been talking to some people that build their own furniture that we may commission to work with us to have our right. own private label stuff. Um, and, you know, we've met a few upholsters who I think we're going to begin to work with as well. So we would certainly like to add uh, to that service that we can do. But, um, you know, you kind of start slow, and, and at this point we are just working on refinishing. But, but I do see something like that down the road, absolutely. Oh, great. So how about consignment? Can, can people, um, may people bring things in to, to sell? Well, I'll say this. My wife and, uh, is very picky about what goes in the shop, as am I. Uh, so, no, we're, we're really trying to stay away from consignment. Okay. Um, at the end of the day, though, we started as kind of a, as pickers, so you'll see some antique stuff in the shop. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what we really do suggest, if you've got an old antique or, or a piece of furniture that you're just trying to get rid of, um, we would just rather pay outright for it and buy it and, and then be able to upcycle it or restore it the way we want to. Gotcha. Um, so again, I, I would just suggest if you've got something like that in your home that you're looking to get rid of, I would say just take a picture of it and email it over to us or catch up with us on Facebook right. or, or the website. Um, and we, we can just go from there. Great. And I know we have the website and the Facebook page up on the screen. So oh, people want to contact you, obviously they can. So best of luck, TJ, to you Thank and Tisha. You so much. And uh, with the store. And um, the holidays are coming, so people need to come and see what you have. Absolutely. We're getting new shipments in every day. My wife, again, is constantly working on new furniture pieces. Um, and it's a big deal, and especially with the holidays coming up, we just want to make sure that, that we're very fair and affordable. Um, and I think you'll find that whether you come in to buy a, a candle or a dining room set, uh, you're going to get really good pricing, great service. And, and we are family owned, so uh, anytime you come in, you're going to see Tisha or myself, or good. Uh, maybe you might get lucky and even see my mom in there working a couple <laughs> of days a week. So. <laughs> well, thank you for coming in. We thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much for having me, Sandy. I appreciate it. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.